What's up y'all, Stonewall here, and today I'm starting section three of the Great Divide route. Well, actually section four, because their number going south and I'm going north, but... So coming out of Salida this morning, had a pretty big climb. I think it was like 3,000 feet up. Uh, good roads and everything, just a big climb right in the morning. And then got up to this big open area, big, big green rolling hills everywhere. Um, no shade, um, but yeah, it's really pretty. As you can see, there's some big peaks behind me now. Also this morning I came up upon some pronghorns. I guess they're kind of like antelope. There were four in the road and when I got close enough, they ran off and kind of ran beside me for a little bit before they ran off into the distance and man those guys are fast. I'm um, taking a break here under some cattle pens because it's the only shade I could find out here and then I'm gonna keep on going. Other than that it's a pretty good day today. All right, so I ended up doing about 77, 78 miles yesterday. Um, kind of more of the same for the rest of the afternoon. Just wide open area. I think those wide open areas might wear me out where there's no trees or shade or anything like that. There was, I think it ended up being about 50, 60 mile stretch or so with just openness. Uh, I guess it's called a basin. Uh, I did get some reprise from the sun in the afternoon all the clouds formed up. Of course that meant I got rained on a little bit coming into the town of Como. I was gonna camp outside their school there but the number on the maps was discontinued so put in a few more miles till I got to the National Forest and just pitched my tent up in some trees and I was tired after that. I didn't even eat dinner or cook dinner last night. I just ate some big chocolate chip cookies I got from Safeway the day before and called it a night. And this morning it was pretty cold. I did not want to get out. All right guys, just made it over Boreas Pass or Breas Pass, not sure how to say it. Um, it's the second highest pass on the route. I think it's 11,500 feet, something like that. Uh, the climb wasn't too bad. This used to be an old narrow, narrow gauge railroad through the area so it wasn't that steep. I uh, had a headwind half the time so that made for a little slow going but wasn't too bad. I'm at the top here. I got a pretty much a descent I think all the way to Frisco which I'm gonna stay with some friends of my parents and turn today into a Nero which if you're unfamiliar with the term a zero is when you take the full day off and Nero is when you just do a few miles so I'm looking for like 29 miles today I think so um, should be good for to get some rest in. My legs have been putting in a request for a day off and uh, the paperwork just went through so I'm gonna give them most of a day off today. Yeah it's kind of a little chilly up here but great views as you can see. Hey guys, ended up having a pretty good Nero day yesterday. So far today has been pretty good, uh, pretty much mostly downhill coming out of Frisco, had a, a pass this morning, uh, wasn't too bad, uh, good good roads, so it's been pretty good today. Uh, this morning I was on the bike path for a, a, quite a ways, there's a pretty extensive and cool bike route that goes between Breckenridge, Frisco, Dillon, Silverthorne, um, it's a pretty cool system they got there. I was on my bike path for I guess 15 miles or so. So if I have to be on pavement, at least it was nice to be away from some, some of the cars. But I'm back on gravel today, um, trying to get in maybe 30 more miles, do about 78 or something, I think. Alright, 
finished off the day at 74 miles. Made it to this campground on the Colorado River. Apparently it's a big area for rafting since it's been here. There's been a lots of groups and people coming out of the river. Um, mostly getting out. I guess this is where a lot of people finish, but a few people getting in too, to keep going down the river, I guess. Pretty easy day today. Went by pretty fast. I think I got in here around 3.30 or something like that. I was already planning on staying in Steamboat Springs tomorrow, which is only 60 miles away, so I figure might as well just finish here and um, it's already kind of a shorter day tomorrow, so no reason to keep pushing it, especially because there's a big climb coming up. Day went pretty well, uh, on average downhill, had the big pass in the morning and a couple other climbs in the afternoon. Um, not too big, but kind of tiring. I had pretty good dirt roads all day today, which was nice. At one point I passed by Gore Canyon, which was a pretty steep canyon. Uh, pretty cool. I saw an Amtrak train go through it. Reminded me of uh, when I took it to El Paso. Probably could have just taken that the whole way up here, but probably would have been a lot more expensive and not quite as fun. All right, so a lot of Pretty steep climbing coming out of Radium this morning. I'm pretty tired. And not too far back I had my first crash. Wasn't too big, but it was going downhill and all of a sudden the dirt got super loose and had a lot of uh, loose, good sized rocks in there. And just kind of lost control, wiped out a little bit. I'm fine, but first crash besides a couple, or really early on I had a couple where I just kind of toppled over. I was going four miles an hour up a hill and hit some sand and toppled over. Yeah, that, those are more like when you're in your skis and you just fall over doing nothing kind of crash. Um, but yeah, I'd call this one today more of a crash, but totally fine, bike's fine. So I just came to my first creek crossing. Looks like my feet are gonna get wet. My feet are cold. All right, made it into Steamboat Springs here and into my hotel. The rest of the day after all that steep climbing wasn't too bad. It was mostly downhill or flat. Of course, it wouldn't be a day in Colorado without getting rained on in the afternoon. Today I got rained on twice and actually got hail both times. First time I uh, snuck under a pine tree and waited it out for a little for, for a few minutes there. Went around a this lake reservoir on a bike path and then was hanging out there for just a few minutes eating some food and then it started raining and hailing on me again and then both times you just descend a little bit and you look back and there's no clouds anyway i made it in here gonna rest up and then head on out tomorrow <laughs> y'all just made it to the top of the big climb today it actually doesn't even have a name maps just call it watershed divide and it was pretty tough not so much because it was steep or long but more so just because it was so rocky uh, there were numerous stretches where I just had to walk for a good portion of it um, yeah it's pretty tough other than that the morning was pretty good had a, another good bike path coming out of the town and then a paved road actually up to a town called Clark which had a pretty good and well stocked general store and then from there I started the climb up here I get a big descent coming on but the maps say the first mile and a half is going to be really rocky so I'm expecting I'm going to have to probably walk again or at least be slow going and then after that it should be hopefully smooth sailing to the Wyoming border so I'll see y'all there. Goodbye, Colorado. Hello, Wyoming.
All right, so a bit of a late one tonight, guys. Just got done setting up camp and eating. I made it about 75 miles and I am camped just off of the highway. After I entered Wyoming, it was a few more miles to get into the national forest here. And then as soon as I found a suitable clustering of trees, I pitched my tent and pretty well hidden from the road. Uh, after the climb, it was pretty steep for the first little bit. And then there's some good downhill sections. And then there was a section where I got huge headwinds. It was just like going really slow downhill even. After that, I came across Brush Mountain Lodge, which was a really cool trail angel stop. I didn't even know about it. I almost passed right by it because I wasn't planning on staying at any place right there. I wanted to put in some more miles, but as I rode by, I heard a bunch of people hollering at me, and I went over there, and there were four cyclists there, and then the lady there that runs it was super nice. She was making some pizza, so I had some pizza and a chocolate milk, which was pretty good, and it would have been a really cool place to stay, but I wanted to put in some more miles, so I think I got in 20 more miles maybe, 20, 25, something like that. Um, which I'm glad I did because it'll be a shorter day tomorrow into Rollins. I want to try to get in there early so I can get to bed super early because I'm planning on waking up super early the next morning. Alright guys, made it into Rollins, Wyoming today, which finishes up the third leg of the Great Divide route for me. I think I've done about 1,300 miles, something like that, 13, 1,400 miles. Today went by pretty fast, went through some forests this morning, and then the rest of the day it really opened up into some wide open country with big rolling hills, uh, lots of sun, no shade, so Typically on those days, I just kind of keep going because there's not really a good place to rest. And then it got pretty windy today. Had some good tailwinds at some points. Most of the time, it, they were just really strong crosswinds where you kind of have to be careful or the crosswind might blow you off the road or at least blow you over. And then a couple spots, pretty strong headwinds as well. But um, all in all, made it into town about or just after two, which was nice. I found a Thai restaurant that had a buffet going on until three, so made sure to take advantage of that. And then I headed over to the hotel and got a bunch of stuff done a little later than I would have liked because I'm trying to head out tomorrow by 4 a.m. to beat the winds across the Great Divide Basin. But uh, I guess I'll sleep after I ride tomorrow because I'm not going to get too much tonight, or at least not as much as I wanted. So recap on section four, which was from Salida to Rollins, basically most of Colorado. Pretty good. I enjoyed Colorado. All the most, or most of the climbs were pretty good with good roads. One thing that surprised me is I thought it would be up in the mountains more, but most of Colorado was just big passes up in the mountains and then in between those it was just wide open areas with kind of mountains all around you. Wasn't quite expecting that. Colorado on the whole seemed a little easier than New Mexico I guess but I guess it's kind of hard to tell because my legs and body are getting stronger every day so kind of hard to tell but all in all Colorado is pretty good. Heading on to Wyoming next should be about five days or so across Wyoming. All right, I'm going to go to sleep and I'll catch up with you all next section.